Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay Lands of Law, the Throne of Chaos. And when we last left off, we'd selected Kieran here as the hero that we'll be playing through this playthrough with. Much like I did the first one. Let's have a look at his equipment screen. As you can see, you can wear a helmet, a necklace, braces, a shield, a melee weapon, or a ranged weapon there, a uh, shirt or piece of armor, and two rings. If we were one of the other three heroes, we'd also have access to a pair of boots or sandal slot. But since we're Kieran, we don't have that. You may think 11 might and protection 6 is pretty good. How about 1 protection? And 4 might. That's not so impressive. When it's showed on the actual uh, hero selection screen that his stats weren't that high, wasn't joking, they're not that good. Let's put them back on, or else we won't stand any chance against the enemies out there. Now, Fighter, Rogue, and Mage being one apiece, there are three sort of classes in the game that you can level up. You level up Fighter by landing hits as a... Um, with melee weapons. Basically, as a fighter, effectively. Rogue, you level up by attacking with ranged weapons, and does impact what locks you can lockpick with lockpicks. And Mage, you definitely increase by casting offensive spells against uh, targets, but uh, I'm not quite sure if you get it by using healing magic as well. I'm sure I'll find out as we go through. My memory will be rejogged. You start with 41 silver crowns, which is the currency in the game with which you use to buy goods and services, and a salve, which is a pretty good healing item, aloe, which is not a very good healing item, and ginseng, which not only heals a little, it also removes poison. Poison we will eventually encounter, and it's as nasty as I remember it from even all those years ago. We can attack with this button, we can uh, cast spells with that button. There is only one spell we currently know, and that's Spark. And of that, we only know level 1, which will actually use most of Kieran's magic. It, not surprisingly, emits a spark of electricity. Level 2 emits 2, level 3 emits 3, and level 4 emits 4. Other spells that we will get will do other things at different levels, but right now, all we have is spark. We can rest anywhere that we feel like is safe, but no one needs rest right now. If we are attacked while we are resting, the enemy usually, I'm pretty sure always, lands a free hit in. Also, if you're all fully healed but someone is poisoned, resting won't help and the game won't let you. Now that we've actually gone through all of that and the uh, controls like this, you can actually set it up to uh, control with a floating cursor, but I don't like that personally. And you can control it with the arrow keys. I believe it's the arrow keys. Yep, the arrow keys. I um, personally prefer controlling it with the mouse. So, now that King Richard has told us to go and meet him in the throne room, obviously, we're not going to do that because we're not cut out for this adventuring malark. Let's go! Kieran, where are you not summoned to see the king? Go back straight north into the throne room. Except we can't. Because this guard here is blocking our route out. Now, in theory, we could attack him. It'll make all of the guards in the uh, keep hostile. There are four. And um, he will start moving to chase us. So in theory, in theory, the plan would be that you would move past him and try and escape. There is a downside to this. While they miss, they can, and usually will, kill you in one hit. Missing with the King's Guard is very, very rare, and they will kill you in one hit. If you have other people in your party, which you do eventually get, they'll also kill them in one hit, but one hit per person dying. And with four of them on that little map, and the fact that uh, it's a very actual, like, narrow map with very few, like, areas with more than, like, a narrow corridor of one square. Don't try and kill the King's Guard. It won't work. Now, as you can see, this is based around squares of movement. So, you will be travelling around on a square grid. That's why the uh, arrow keys are such as they are. So let us actually explore this place. 
We have subtitles on now, so anywhere where someone is speaking, the music's also set a little lower, anywhere where they're speaking, there will be subtitles, and we have normal difficulty monsters. So let's explore the keep. The forest below appears tranquil. But is it actually tranquil, Kieran? Is that bird looking for a place to land? That is in no way foreshadowing, Kieran, and we should ignore that bird, for I'm sure we shall never, ever, ever see it again. The kingdom looks deceptively peaceful. But we all know that there is trouble afoot concerning, basically, the Dark Army. The Dark Army wants to take over Gladstone, and they're going to try pretty soon, at least that's the belief. But soft, what evil through yonder forest shows? Indeed. What evil is out there? Well, we know there's one we're trying to deal with. The Gladstone Crest. It's not a bad crest. Gold threads sparkle through the thick red yarn. Hmm, not bad. Now this here is a door. We can't open it by clicking it. We also can't just walk into it. There's a handy button, however. Most doors have handy buttons. You can also close doors. Sometimes you can't close them. But sometimes it's beneficial to close them, because it may buy you a little time when it comes to running away from enemies. Sometimes you will want to run away from them. The hidden plumbing seems miraculous. It probably is. Quite an ingenious feat. This must be fed by an artesian well. Hmm. Pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. Tapestries bring some warmth to the keep. I imagine it's quite cold. Old saddlecloths make fine hangings. I don't see any sort of heating around. Here is a sword. Fine swords. Impressive decoration. Yep. Sharp, too. They are indeed sharp. This is the other way that you can die in the keep. You can literally keep pressing this sword until all of your health is gone and you die. Don't do that. So, let's go into here. Royal Herborium. One of the actual few shops in the game. There are not actually that many shops in the game. You could probably count them all on two hands. And still maybe have a finger or two spare. But let's go in. Hello! It's Nathaniel. Shh. Did, did you hear something? If Scotia does attack, they say we won't hear a thing. Quickly now, point out what you need. Nathaniel is in no way terrified of the fact that Scotia is going to arrive and potentially kill all of them. This man is a brave man. They say the ruby and the shard are the only means of opposing the nether mask. Hmm. I'm sure we'll remember that. They say the ruby and the shard are the only means of opposing the nether mask. And he also only has one piece of dialogue there. Anything else to click? Can't click the shield in the background. Those are only experimental ingredients. Fair enough, we can't buy them. Those are only experimental ingredients. And we can't buy them. We can only buy these three things here. Like this. That's aloe. Rub the leaf on wounds to heal them. Would you like to buy a leaf? Five crowns. Five crowns? No thanks. I prescribed ginseng to neutralize poisons and soothe injuries. Would you like to buy a root? That is a ten crown donation. No thank you. Finally. That salve is a secret Gorka recipe for healing. That is a 20 crown donation. I'm sure we'll never meet the Gorka. I'm sure they'll never show up later in the game, but we do not need that right now either. In fact, we could also... I don't know if we can sell these things to him. I'm not going to, but we'll try. Sorry, donations are not refundable. Nope, can't sell things back. Farewell then. We don't want any of the things that he sells currently. The eagle is Richard's mascot. Oh, does he have an eagle? The noble bird reflects Richard's spirit. He must have a pretty enduring spirit. Let us go and talk to the other merchant within the keep. Victor Glaston, royal armorer. Ah, Victor. Fine man is Victor who sells fine wares. Let's go say hi. Oh, so you come to see Victor, afraid of Scotia's new toy. <laughs> Why afraid? Look at Victor. Myself could use a shape changer. <laughs> you always wear a kidder. You show Victor what you want to buy. Maybe you show Victor what you sell. Okay? This is the man who you tend to sell most of your things to in the very first area. Hello, Victor. 
you have a thing to sell, Victor? Not at the moment, but I will later. I make even this wheel with these two hands. Very skilled artisan here. What about this sword? Not for sale. This commander's sword. Oh. Okay, fair enough. Now is not the time for training apprentice. No, I wasn't actually going to learn how to make swords. I was just going to ask about the uh, area behind you, but uh, what about this? Now is not the time for training apprentice. Fair enough. He has only four things to sell you. The first is a dagger. Need one dagger, ten crowns. No, thank you. The second thing is a mace. You need that mace? Forty crowns. No, thank you. The third is a rapier. That one a weapon right for you. Sixty crowns. No, thank you. And finally... Excellent weapon! One hundred and twenty-five crowns. We'll be coming back for that. But not right now. We only have forty-one. We could buy the mace. We're not going to. You again come visit, no? Oh, I will, don't worry. I'll come visit eventually. Just... not yet. Let us leave and, uh... Go explore. Oh, there's a place over here. Jaron Erebroth, Royal Chamberlain. You know, I've never actually remembered his surname. Well, there it is. Is he in? The door is locked. No, he is not. He is, in fact, with Richard right now. Let us go and explore some more. Ooh. The old tapestries glow with age. That they do. A few relics survive through the centuries. Only a few. There's also this area over here. Richard's great-grandfather Ludwig. Oh. 73rd heir to the throne. That is a long throne-like dynasty there. That is a long dynasty. Also, various pictures here. The early Talamari were mounted warriors. Oh. Early spells inspired their mounts. Hmm, not bad. The kingdom looks deceptively peaceful. Ah, uh, they're not going to be different. They're not going to be different. We can't go in here. An ornate lock. Because there is a keyhole here that opens this door. At the moment, that is off limits to us. But not for much longer. Because, let's actually look at this first. Richard's battle banners await the call. Yeah. They seem ready to fight. I don't think banners can fight, Kieran. Uh, unless we just throw them at the enemy, and then the enemy get defeated by banners. Hmm. Maybe they'll try that at some point. But if you turn to these guards, they talk. His Royal Majesty awaits you in the throne room. Excellent. Let us go and speak to His Royal Majesty, King Richard. You can either press up on this one to actually open it, or press the button. We're going to press the button. Cutscene! I tell you, we must march with whatever troops can be gathered locally. Isn't Eric mustering his white army? Have we lost all confidence in our own military capabilities? Eric is the finest commander in the kingdom, but he is a five-day march from here. As long as we have our own magic, I really don't see where we need more than the defenses we already have in place. Scotia is not an adversary to be taken lightly. Ah, Kira. Because of the threat from Scotia, I have an urgent need for the Ruby of Truth. Please retrieve it from Roland's estate in the Southland and return it to Gladstone. Here is a key to my private library. Among the books, you will find a magic atlas that should be of assistance on your journey. Come by my office before you leave the keep. I'll give you a writ that will identify you as being on official business for His Highness. Don't pay any attention, by the way, to that ring that King Richard had on his uh, hand there. I'm sure that's uh, not important whatsoever. But there, in fact, are three characters. There is... Uh, King Richard himself, voiced by Patrick Stewart, and Jaren, and Dawn, who we didn't find the name of there, because she doesn't have an actual room in the uh, keep itself that you can go visit, but that is Dawn. And here is a library key that will fit that library door. It seemed that Jaren was quite a nice guy there. I'm sure when we go and get that writ, he'll be just as friendly. The key unlocks the door, which opens automatically. Now, there are four books here. Only one of them is actually the, uh, the Magic Atlas. The kingdom looks deceptively... This simple. is the Magic Atlas, but we'll be looking at all of them here. And so it came to pass that the ancient people of Gladstone, having discovered a method of controlling the magics, rose unto power amongst the barbarous tribes of the Great Wasteland. Ah! 
Let's read some more. For my part, I travel not to go anywhere, but to go. I travel for travel's sake. Fair enough. And lastly. Never drink from underground waters. These will corrupt the heart and taint the mind. Many a twisted soul met its fate through unwise drinking. That actually might be something that will come into effect at some point far later. But that's generally advice for the lands. Now, you can actually go through the whole game, as far as I know, without collecting the Magic Atlas. In fact, there are three items that litter this uh, part of the screen here that you could go and not collect and just go through the game without them. But we're going to collect it. The Magic Atlas. Now, it is completely uh, unfilled right now. And we'll now start filling whenever we actually go and have a look in various areas. So we just want to map out the keep very quickly. Anywhere you go, it will map out. It will also map out if there are any secret doors or anything like that. Also, we can't go back in. Have you found the Ruby of Truth? I have additional questions for His Majesty. You are not to be admitted without the Ruby. They surely must know that I've literally only been five minutes. But they won't let you in. No more questions for Kieran. He will not have any of them answered. Now, if we go here and here, on the actual map, it will indicate to various places. There you go. The little coloured dots there represent uh, various things like the fountain and uh, Victor's arms, Jaren's office, Nathaniel's herbs, a niche, which is where the uh, various books were contained, a door, and a button slash lever. It will also indicate two secret doors that are in the game, but we haven't found one of those just yet. We will do, though. Let's go talk to Jaren. He was such a friendly chap before. Hello, Jaren! Oh, it's you. The impending storm attracts all you would-be heroes. Now, I suppose you want your writ. I do! Look, even the beasts seek shelter. Oh, it's that bird again! Hello, how are you? Also, Jaren, not actually a very nice person at all when you actually meet him in private. Let's click on the bird. The bird is unclickable. If I want you to touch something of mine, I'll ask you. Oh, okay, fair enough. What about this? Use your own maps. Those are mine. Oh, uh, okay. If I want you to touch something of mine, I'll ask well, you. Well, why don't we ask you a question? What are you waiting for? Be gone. As I said, a very nice chap indeed. We have the writ, however. We're not going to hand it back to him. Let's see if we can hand it back to him. Why would I want that? That's a good question. Well, you did, after all, write it. Let us leave. Clearly, we have nothing more to speak with Jaren about. If you need help, mayhap that rascal Timothy is at the Grey Eagle. There is a hint for you to get your first companion in the game, Timothy, who you will find in the Southlands. Let us actually go and talk to him again. Why not? He seems like the guy that likes being interrupted. Hello! No, I, I really don't think he does. He is giving me a very, very unimpressed look right now, and I'm just going to leave. Get out. Do not return without the ruby. Yeah, he's not happy. I'm not at all surprised. Not in the least. So, there is actually nothing more for us to do here, at all. We have explored practically everything. And now, the outside beckons to us. Let us save, because I have not saved yet. And when we come back, folks, we will head out into the forest beyond. I'm sure we'll get a warm reception, as is befitting a hero of Gladstone in the making. We are not going to get a warm reception at all. But hey, maybe there'll be combat. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.